Okay, Emily and uh, everybody else, because I think um, I train Emily in person, so we talk a lot. She's also a nutrition coach, um, so she probably already knows the answer to this. But Emily, Emily is is just doing a little bit of a mini cut, and Emily's you know like a 115 pound person who has a very low calorie budget. So I think the question that she asked is a very good one. Um, especially for lighter people uh, on a lower on a lower calorie budget, right? So, for for everybody, in terms of managing hunger in a calorie deficit, here's like my big rock go tos. Number one, your protein has to be high, like a gram per pound or more. Okay, um, and again, this is very important for those. If you're 120 to 150 pounds, which a lot of you are, um, the protein intake when you're in a calorie deficit because your calorie budget is just from an absolute sense really low, the protein has to be there or you're just not going to be able to do it, frankly. Um, so like a gram per pound, I would say at a minimum um, and maybe even a little bit higher. So high protein, the second one, as Emily alluded to, high fiber uh, and that usually means, in my opinion, no less than 30 grams a day, um, especially if you're in this situation, lighter body weight, low calorie budget. Um, the third one is low fat. Okay. So it, Emily, in terms of you saying balancing your meals, it's going to be protein heavy and carb heavy, which most people are like, oh my God, carbs, but no, <laughs> Dietary fat is not a satiating macronutrient because it's a dense, it's a calorie dense macronutrient. Direct sources, dominant sources of dietary fat, you're going to get a very small volume of food for a fair amount of calories. That's not what you want. All right. So again, high protein, high fiber, low fat. All right. And frankly, guys, you can get enough dietary fat for like hormonal purposes just through getting trace fats through your carbs and your protein all right so you don't necessarily need to i'm not saying don't do it or you can't do it but you don't necessarily need to eat like direct sources of dietary fat nuts cheese avocado butter oils stuff like that you really don't need to have a lot of that stuff um, because again we're looking to optimize food volume and and so emily that's really what what we're getting to here if you're hitting your protein and you're hitting your fiber, um, but it's like you're still having a really hard time managing your hunger. And look, hunger is a part of fat loss. It's unavoidable. It's not going to be completely erased or mitigated. It can only be managed, right? But for someone who is hitting their protein and fiber, now we're talking about food volume and optimizing food volume. Um, so we're looking for, again foods that provide the, the absolute volume and amount of food you get for the calories is large versus like dietary fat you get a small amount of volume for a, a fairly substantial amount of calories especially if you're dieting at 12 15 1700 calories right so food so if the protein and the fiber are hit now we're talking about how what can we do to really optimize food volume um that's really what we're getting at here. So again, that means again cutting out well, most of your dietary fat from direct fat sources and just getting it through trace fat. Um, and Emily, you know my we've talked about this. I'm a big fan of like shirataki noodles as a replacement for pasta, um, cauliflower rice as a replacement for regular rice. You're going to get the same volume of pasta or rice for like. 10%, 20% of the calories of normal pasta or rice, things like that. Um, strawberries, watermelon, um, high fiber, low calorie wraps, tortillas, high fiber, low calorie bread. Again, this is going to, to keep your food volume high while staying in your deficit and helping you manage hunger. Um, but it's a unique question because my normal answer would be, how do I manage, you know, if you, how do I manage my hunger and balance my meals? Um, so I don't, so I don't overeat, uh, and stay somewhat satiated. 
you know, and manage my hunger, how do I do that? My go-to answer is keep your protein high and your fiber high. When you're keep when you're hitting your protein and fiber tar- targets, which uh, which is why I thought this was a unique question, then you really got to hone in on food volume, um, and, and you know that's going to take a lot of of um, awareness and planning to ensure that happens. And, and I'll say again, Emily is at a very light body weight trying to drop a little bit of fat um, for a, a business photo shoot. Uh, and she doesn't have a lot of calories to work with. So, you know, there's not a lot of wiggle room in a situation like this. Beyond all that, I've always been a proponent of, for most people, three to four meals, similar calories and similar protein at each meal, spaced about three to five hours apart. And Emily, in your case, three meals, I would even do four. I would do three meals like spaced maybe four hours apart or something like that. Because again, the more meals you have, the smaller the calories per meal. Not great for managing hunger, right? Definitely snacking is going to be an absolute disaster when your calories are that low. And in general, even if you're not, even if you're dieting on higher calories, snacking's still not a great idea because then you're going to have to compensate and eat fewer calories at your quote-unquote real meals to make up for the snacking. So instead of having, you know, your hunger go from a nine down to a three, okay, if you're eating multiple smaller meals per day or snacking and then having to compensate at your normal meals, your hunger is probably going to be like at a seven or an eight all day long versus if you have fewer larger meals you can at least get the hunger down for a while to a three and then it ramps back up to like a nine and then you eat again, substantial meal, uh, relatively speaking. I mean, it's never a substantial meal in a calorie deficit, but then it comes back down to like a three, it rises again over several hours, you eat again, right? So that's really what hunger was gonna look like, um, look like when you're trying to lose fat. Uh, but again, all these issues get compounded and messier when you're a lighter person dieting under 2000 calories, which a lot of people here are. Um, so again, it's tough. Um, so in review, high protein, high fiber protein, it, a gram, at least, you know, shooting for gram per pound fiber, shooting for 30 grams, um, optimizing food volume, minimizing dietary fat, um, and then uh, again, th- no more than four meals, probably preferably three, if you're if you're under 2,000 calories a day. Similar in calories, similar in protein, spaced three to five hours apart throughout the day. That's kind of the way you manage hunger um, in a deficit. So hope that helped.